All right, today we're going to be doing the long-awaited boomerang tutorial for Platformer Project. Uh, these boomerang scripts were created by Dushan. Um, I'll give you a link in the description to where you can not only get the scripts, but where you can join the Discord so you can meet Dushan and maybe ask some questions. Let's get this started. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that Player 2 is installed and the boomerang stri uh, scripts are installed. This link will be in the description. You won't need anything other than that. We're going to be making everything from scratch. Go into one of the uh, scenes that come with the pl uh, platformer project and we're going to go into scene one. And this is scene one, so this is what it looks like when you open it. Then we need to make a couple changes to make this work. So right now, uh, everything is default. Lily doesn't have a weapon of any kind other than her spins. Let's open up Lily. Uh, let's open up skin. Let's up Lily again and Lily again. And one more time. There we go. And then we were looking for the hold slot. Inside the hold slot, we're going to be wanting to put our boomerang, okay? Uh, there's a couple ways you can do this. One, we're going to build it from scratch in this tutorial, but also in the um, scripts that you can download, um, there is a boomerang um, prefab. So what we need to do is we need to, in this hold slot, we need to create an empty, okay? This empty is going to be the holder of our boomerang. So let's just call it boomerang. So let's just make sure it's a little bit in front of me. Now we need to create our boomerang. So I'm just going to do what I did in the previous tutorial. So I'm just going to create the boomerang out of a shape. So I'm going to use cylinder and I'm going to take off the capsule collider. Make sure to remove the capsule collider. Um, the script will add the ones it needs. So we're going to change the size of it. So we're going to bring it down a bit. And then we're going to make it a little bit thinner. Let's see. And there we go. So it's flat. All right. Now we need to rotate it. So we're going to rotate it forward first. So this is 90 degrees. And then we want to rotate it on Y. Uh, let's see. Negative 45. Okay. Now we need to duplicate this. And we're going to create the other side. So this side, we're just going to change to uh, 45 degrees. And then if we look at it from the top, right now it looks like a little X. Um, so we just need to move things left to right. So in this case, we're going to move the X uh, 0.1 and make this one 0.1. So we're making a makeshift boomerang shape. So if you look at it now, it kind of looks like a boomerang. All right. Now we need to add a script to this. So in the, on the boomerang itself, we're going to add the boomerang script. It says boomerang weapon. So we're going to add that. So let's go to Lily and let's go ahead and add the player throw. The input action is included in the download. So just go ahead and drag that over. That's the custom input action, but you can use the one that comes with the uh, platformer project if you want. To simplify it, we just added the ability to put the name of the uh, input action that is going to cause it to throw. So if you open up the input action, you see where we have throw here, and then we open this up and we have, uh, this one is specifically set to a gamepad or an Xbox, but you can add any other uh, bindings that you want just by pushing this button, and then you can have it listen. Um, let's say that we're gonna have J, right? So there we go, J, it'll shoot. Make sure auto save is on, close it. All right, let's go back to our, our Lily. And then let's make sure that we put the name of the throw action. You can call it whatever you want, um, but this is what we have it called. I don't have a return uh, in here, but basically you can create another keystroke that'll cause the boomerang to return to you. But it'll automatically return on its own once it's done with what it's doing. So the weapon object would be this one. You have four different options of how to throw the boomerang. There's player forward, camera aligned, camera forward, and camera forward smart. The camera forward smart is kind of like an auto aim. Um, so if you throw it at something, it'll automatically try to uh, attack any enemies or collectibles. Camera forward will shoot whatever direction the camera is uh, uh, aiming, but stay above the ground. Camera aligned will shoot in the direction of the camera itself. Um, and then player forward will shoot forward on the player no matter where the camera is looking. So I'm gonna put it as smart. Let's just uh, finish setting things up. So let's go into boomerang. We need to add our player now. And then uh, um, we need to have our throw transform and our return transform. In this case, that's going to be the uh, hold slot because this is what's holding our boomerang. We need to go ahead and create the little uh, crosshairs. So if we go here and we create an empty, let's just call it crosshairs. And then inside crosshairs, we need to put the uh, um, whatever we're gonna be using as the crosshairs. In this case, I'm gonna be building them again. So let's create the empty. And this one right here is going to be the visual. 
you can name it whatever you want. And then inside the visual, you're going to have to create your crosshair. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to the 3D objects. I'm going to go to a cylinder. Okay, I have my little cylinder there. And then I'm going to shrink that cylinder down. And I'm going to make it a little bit longer. Okay. And then what we need to do is we need to create uh, four angles of this. So we're going to take this cylinder and we're going to duplicate it four times. And then we're going to rotate this one on the z-axis by four or five. And same thing, rotate this one by negative four five. All right, there we go. And negative four five. So as you can see, we kind of have an X right here. But we want to make it a little more like what we would see in other video games that have an auto aim. And then we can go ahead and shrink the entire thing. All right, so now we have a little bullseye. Um, the other thing you can do is change the color. So we actually included uh, a... Um, a material here that you can use that's red and just go ahead and switch that out with all of them so what that's going to do is that's going to appear over whatever you're trying to aim at so we need to add a script to this so this script is going to be the the aiming cross okay we just need to add the player to this don't forget to take off the collider and then it should work so let's find out So there's our little X, we shoot, and it hits. Now I remember I told you there's different ways that you can set this to aim. So if you come here and you change this to player forward, then it'll only throw it forward. It won't have auto aim anymore. So now, Doesn't matter which way the camera is pointing, the boomerang will always go the direction that the player is looking. And then if you choose camera aligned, it'll go the direction that the camera is facing. So it doesn't matter which way the player is looking. If the camera is facing this way, it's gonna go that way. If you choose camera forward, what it's gonna do is it's gonna throw it uh, forward with the camera, but it might not stay toward the ground. So if it bounces off the ground, for example, it's gonna go way up in the sky. Anyway, that's basically it. And to make things easier, I included an auto aim um, and a boomerang and a lily with, with a boomerang set up in the um, uh, downloadable script so that you'll have something to reference. Um, other than that, just go ahead and play with these numbers and see what happens. Oh, by the way, you can change the damage it does to enemies here. So if you have larger enemies, you can tell it if you want it to collect uh, items, if you want it to break items, um, is it solid or not? So does it go through things? Also, you can uh, control how far that it actually throws the boomerang. If you change the number here, it will change how fast that the boomerang returns to you. So, for example, yeah, there we go. So if you lower the return after, the auto return after, it will shorten the distance that the boomerang will go before it starts to return to you. This will allow you to keep people from, you know, killing enemies on the other side of the screen um let's change this to 05 let's see how much faster that goes there see now it's a very quick that's basically it i'll be doing a detailed cutscene tutorial in the next tutorial so make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss that and if you have any questions put them in the comments and i look forward to hearing from you